Hey guys, I'm Harrison Vaughn. And I'm Danielle Vaughn. So we're here with CervicalDizziness.com talking about our latest blog. Uh, it's speaking of BPUV and really some of the other factors that contribute to it. So as a vestibular therapist, you see a lot of patients with positional vertigo and in most cases they are easy and they respond very well but there's always those tough cases where it's reoccurring or you have trouble actually making any kind of response from your positional um, maneuvers. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we're, we're sitting here and we, we the blog talks about 18 different factors that can contribute or be a precipitating factor of BBV. And uh, we bring up two of them. And two of them are what uh, we can treat specifically as a physio. And it's uh, someone who might have had some sort of post-trauma, concussion, whiplash, uh, or either some sort of manipulative procedure or something of that nature, as well as just chronic myofascial cervical pain. And, and really, the thought is, is that these are probably patients who come in, we talk about, you know, I think maybe seven out of 10 people probably have this uh, with PPAV. So um, as a manual therapist, I know that uh, I can help that tremendously, but uh, we know it's not the main approach to treating PPAV. Uh, back in the day, maybe osteopaths and the chiropractors, acupuncturists, that would be the first approach, but now we have more standardized approaches with the vestibular rehab. So uh, take a look at the blog, let us know what you think, and let's see what we can do to get these folks better. See ya. Bye.